Did you get a new Predator rifle recently? Maybe you got a new one for Christmas. Well, I did, and I'm not gonna hold back. It's the new Ruger American. I'm gonna use this rifle for Predator hunting. It's in my favorite caliber, the 22250, that I love to match up with Superformance Hornady varmint ammunition. But the one thing about this rifle that's got me just a little bit questioning is the fact that it's black. Now, I don't mind a dark colored rifle in the field. It blends in the shadows and everything. But where I live, it's winter out when I do most of my predator hunting shooting. So I think I'm gonna need to customize this rifle because for me, a rifle is like a Stanley hammer. I take it out there, it's a tool, I beat it up. It's not something that I'm gonna hold forever maybe as long as I can, but I don't really care if I pass this rifle down through the generations. I wanna make sure it gets the job done right and right now. What we're gonna do is take this dark black rifle and camo it up for wintertime predator hunting. All right, have you thought it over and you want to camo up your rifle? Well, here are a few things you're gonna need. First of all, a scope. I'm going to put this Nikon variable scope on, but we're going to do that a little later, not right now. What I really need to do right now is tape this rifle up. So I've got some duct tape and some painter's tape here. I'm going to use this white athletic tape later just to put a little bit of touch on the scope because I may want to move that scope to a different rifle later and I don't want to tape it up. But on this rifle, it's going to be my permanent winter coyote gun. So the tape, that is going to go over the magazine area, the action area, the safety area, and probably the mounting here on top of the scope mounts. I'll use the duct tape. It's a little wider to go over the, uh, the receiver and the bottom where the magazine comes in and the painting tape for just a little bit over the safety and everything. And what this does is to ensure that those areas won't gum up because you want the action to free flow you want the safety to run smoothly, and this paint could gum it up. Now, what have I chosen for paint? Well, of course, Rust-Oleum. Well, actually, any brand will work. But this Rust-Oleum is a textured white, and it's a matte or a flat coating, so it won't reflect out there in the landscape. I like the texture, too, because, again, it gives you a little bit more of a bump, a little bit more shadowy, uh, grainy effect to it. All right, let's get to taping. And then we're going to get to painting. And voila, with the magic of television, or of course this is online, we have a completed rifle. Now I didn't want to bore you with my spray painting out in the garage, but just do it in a well-ventilated area and cover the entire rifle. Now I've already mounted the scope. I just finished using a little electrical tape, as I said, to whiten up the scope some to break up the uh, outline of that. I've put a rifle, uh, bullet cartridge bandolier on the buttstock here. And of course, um, I had to add my favorite ammunition, the Hornady logo, to the side of it. But this rifle is ready to rock in any snow environment. I even added a Tacticam on top of the scope so I can capture any coyote hunts when I'm out there by myself, which is not uncommon. So for the price of a $4 can of spray paint, uh, a little bit of cheap tape that you probably got laying around, some athletic tape, and some creativity. You have a cool looking rifle rig for your winter predator hunting setups. Now let's just jump back to the future. I'm gonna uh, show you how this rig worked on my first time out with it in the field. Did you do a good job on that one? Did you? 
There you have it, the Ruger American can of spray paint from Home Depot. A little bit of creativity, touch bit of athletic tape, and you have a coyote getting rifle right there. First setup, using my new Ruger with the paint job. And what did we get, Sage? Huh? What's that? That's a nice mail, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. There you have it. For a few bucks, you can have the coolest looking coyote rifle on your block. All right, let's go.